All right, so we're back at the gym. Got a pretty big weekend on. Um, we got Mads doing the LCQ now, so we'll get heaps of footage of that. And yeah, I got to get my vaccine, second second dose of the vaccine later today. So yeah, let's do it. Hello. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. Good. Fresh, fresh hat. Yeah. I bought it for a 1920s party and I'm like, oh, this thing's actually pretty cozy. <laughs> pretty and stylish. And now I'm just running too. it. Yeah. Yeah, good. What's your um, favourite workout to watch? What are you looking forward to watching most? Um, I mean, I'm excited to see what she can deadlift, but. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, the rope climb one, just because there's a bit more of a variety of movements. I think, I think the the row snatch one will be fun to watch too to see how hard, how much she wants it, how hard she wants to push. Yeah, so that'll be cool. Hopefully, the savage comes out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's all I want to see as well, because mm. it's not high skill. You just need to send it really. Yeah. And yeah. just hang up, hang on. Yeah, which that's like the, that's the stress of it too. Yeah. Is like how hard you want to row. Yeah, that's all it's about. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what weights come up off the floor too for Betty. Mm. I reckon she'll do more than she thinks. Yeah. Yeah. She'll uh, get your vaccine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know whether I should take the camera in for that too. <laughs> <laughs> I actually am looking forward to getting it. Just get it out of the way. Hello. Hello. Are you nervous? Not for this one. No. This is yeah, a bit of fun. Will, this will be fun. Yeah. I think you're gonna gonna do more than you think. No, I don't know how the stop reset will go because I don't ever really do that. Yeah. That's why I think you're going to do more than you think. Really? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Get all the little change plates on there. There's a lot of weight out right now. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, there's not enough. We can go get more. <laughs> I'm always boarding, just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finished friends on my face, looking like I'm from the D. D's no Cartier, pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and doing me, bro? Making noise, use a beat, bro. That was good. Got way more than I expected. You can call me Mystic Mike because I predict these things. I was hoping for like 165. I was going to be really happy with 170. So.
All right, guys, so that's a wrap for day one of the LCQs. Uh, Mads did really, really well. I think her deadlift's going to be a be a top, top score, so that's going to be exciting to see how that stacks up on the leaderboard. Um, I just had my second dose of the vaccine. I feel sweet, eh? Like, the first one gave me, like, a pretty dead arm, but, um, yeah, my arm's sweet, and I don't know. Like, I don't even actually really know how I feel at the moment. I don't know if I'm, like nauseous or what but i think i'm just trying to sort of look for if something's wrong but um yeah so far i feel sweet so i put a story out on instagram just to answer any questions that you guys might have while i'm making a video and we got a fair few so i'll just go through some of these and um answer so how do you want to finish at the games um I mean, my goal for the games is obviously, obviously my end goal is I want to be the best in the world. I want to be the fittest on earth, but you also need to be realistic. And I mean, like everyone says, like, if you go to the games, you know, like if you're not there to win them, why are you there? But um, I'm making slow progressions and to be realistic with myself, I, I guess I want to better my placing from last year. So Obviously, better than 18th, but I'll make the goal of top 15. Um, I think I'd be I'll be pretty stoked with that, you know. Be be within um, being within that top 15. You're you're a legit athlete, and um, yeah, I think if I can surprise myself and better that again, then it's all a plus. So yeah, that's going to be really exciting to see how that goal plays out as well. If you had to create a workout you think you could finish first in, what would it look like? This is a good question because sometimes the workouts you think are your wheelhouse workouts sometimes work in the opposite. Um, but in saying that, uh, I think I'd have like anything with say a, a big deficit handstand push up. Um, I think I think I do pretty well in. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's hard to say, like, what pick a workout that you're going to come first in with how stacked the field is, like, anyone can just sort of, you know, it's it's hard to say. It's very hard to say, but I think, yeah, anything with, like, a deficit handstand push-up in it, um, I do really well in. Also, um, yeah, I don't know, it, yeah, it's hard to say, like, I feel like because I'm... I'm pretty confident in that I'm very well all round in movements. It's hard to sort of put a workout together where I say I would win at a games level. So yeah, I think I think that's probably the best answer that I can give. We've got some funny questions in here, but what makes you truly nervous? Um, in the CrossFit space, workouts that are going to be gassy and or soul taking are the ones that what makes me truly nervous but um yeah mainly yeah the ones that you got to like really dig deep in and um give it your all and you know it's gonna hurt <laughs> all right so that's gonna wrap up today's video um if you guys could please like and subscribe, I don't normally want to say that, but I'm trying to get some growth in the channel and then um yeah let me know how you guys like this video and um even if you want to drop some more questions in the comments, more than happy to answer them in my next video. So, um, yeah, hope you guys liked it and I'll see you next time.